Welcome, Janesel, to JPAC Behind the Curtain, where we highlight the upcoming events that are happening at our neighbors, uh, Janesville's Performing Arts Center. And today we have a few guests with us. Of course, we have Jim McCullough, who's with the programming, who's the coordinator for the education and outreach for JPAC. And we also have director from uh, with Stage One, that's Jim Stewart, and he's going to be talking about the Laramie Project. And we also have one of the actresses from the program who is Chloe At Atala. Atala? Right. Okay, great. So uh, why don't we start off with the Laramie Project. Jim, why don't you tell us uh, what the show's about and uh, give us a little bit without giving it all away. Without giving it all away. No spoilers. Um, so it is a, uh, it's a docudrama. Okay. It was uh, written in a very unusual way for a play. Uh, a group called the Tectonic Theater Project from New York City um, went to Laramie, Wyoming and interviewed people in the wake of a uh, horrific murder that occurred uh, in Laramie. Uh, a young gay man was beaten to death, essentially. And, um, and they went uh, armed with uh, recorders and video and they interviewed anybody who would speak to them, essentially. And they did that in several chunks over the course of a few months. And then they went back to New York and they wrote this play as an oral history. Now, if you don't know what an oral history is, that's just, um, they didn't add any words to anything. They simply took verbatim the interviews that they had collected and edit them, edited them into this, um, into the play that we're performing. Uh, so every word that is spoken was spoken by a real person and by the person who is identified as having spoken the words. So it's, it's a show where there are uh, eight actors now, nine actors, including the narrator. Eight actors and a narrator. And um, each of them play between six and nine parts. So it's all about quick changes, changing your voice, changing your look just a little bit, maybe the way you stand or the way you speak or having a hat or not a hat or a scarf and not a scarf. The, those are the things that differentiate the characters. So it's, uh, it's a very serious show performed in an interesting and fun kind of way. Okay, well, and the narrator, is the narrator adding more dialogue kind of off screen or is it more like a transition between the different It's characters? both things, it's both things. The narrator provides some informational, straight up informational stuff and identifies the various characters so we can keep track of that. And uh, generally just a set scene. Oh, fantastic. I, I like to hear the fact that this is, you know, you know, so much uh, playwriting, it seems to be, you know, this, this fiction, mm -hmm. and this piece is a non-fiction piece, basically. Yeah. It's a documentary, essentially. So, yeah. so that's fantastic. Something unique and new for, for JPEG. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Chloe, tell us about some, you know, without giving it all away, some of the kind of, your, your experience with the play, playing these different roles. Uh, is there anything that's kind of the exciting part for you that you could share? Um, <clears throat> I didn't know, much at all about the play actually coming into it. The only, I only knew a little bit because my friend showed me one of the characters' speeches, it really hit me. Um, I don't want to spoil you guys, but it's a really heavy speech towards the end. But yeah, and I decided to go out for it. I thought it was very interesting and dynamic when I heard that there were only eight people playing all these different roles. And I wanted a challenge. I've only been in one other production um, this past spring, but I wanted to, you know, work on playing multiple characters, and I feel like this is the perfect show to try that out. It's definitely been difficult. There are a lot of lines you need to memorize, but I've, I've been enjoying it so far, and I think the cast has come pretty close together since it's so small, and we're in, like, such a small area practicing every day so I've enjoyed it. So I'm thinking about all the characters you have to play and how you have to just kind of turn one off and turn the other one on and you know fantastic challenge. Yeah. <laughs> so sometimes it's very close sometimes you're one character and then you're the next character within a line or two of dialogue you just have to do it that quick. Oh wow. So uh, let's see. So you're in the rehears rehearsal stage now, and the and the performance is coming up soon, isn't it? Uh, it opens June 22nd, okay. runs through July 1st, um, 
Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Okay. Um, Friday and Saturday is a 7.30 show, and Sunday is a 2 o'clock show. Okay. And are, are the tickets on, uh, available now, or when does the ticket sales begin? You can get tickets down to the JPAC box office. Uh, it will be performed in the gallery space, which is our smaller black box theater. Um, and like I said, their tickets are on sale now. And you can just go to the, either the website, which is janesvillepac.org, or you can certainly call down to the box office, which is 608-758-0297, and we can hook you up with as many tickets as you like. Seating is somewhat limited. I'm not sure how many seats you've got. Um, We're thinking we can probably get 100 seats in. Okay. So, yeah, it's a smaller venue, but for this kind of a production, it kind of lends itself for that, so it's a real, real intimate thing, and I think it'll be great. So this is stage one that will be performing this or producing this. Um, with JPAC, so yeah. Okay, yeah, and I and I got a chance to see 1984, mm -hmm. you know, with Stage One. So, uh, um, and and how long have you been working with Stage One? Has it been a while? Oh well, yeah, for a couple of years, anyway. Yeah, I'm on the board of Stage One, and um, I've directed, I think, just one show for them at this point. Okay. Yeah, one show before this one, and I also direct things for Janesville Little Theater. Oh, okay, great. So. Yeah. How long has Janesville Little Theater been around? Just a <laughs> Since the 1920s? Is that yeah, right? I think it's something that's between 80 and 85 years, is that? Yeah, it's something like that. It's very, it's, it's getting close. <laughs> yeah. I kind of knew there was a, I, I'm working on a history piece with JPEG. And so, uh, yeah, looking at the things that have changed in Janesville over the years, and I know that the Little Theater seemed like it was almost getting close to 100, so yeah. fantastic. Great organization to be involved in. Okay, uh, should we? Is there anything else you'd like to add regarding the upcoming performance? Any kind of, you know, that you can think of that kind of send it over the top? <laughs> it's not. <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's just it's a very. I mean, if you know something about the subject matter, okay. um, it's a very interesting play in terms of the way the subject matter is presented. Right, so you've got this, these actors playing all these different characters. It's it's, um, you know, I, I I hesitate to use the word entertaining, but I guess I shouldn't because it is entertaining. It's um, it's interesting to see actors play all those different characters and to see how they transition from one character to the next, and all that happens on stage. The actors never leave the stage. The props and the little costume pieces are all on stage with them, so they just go and get it and become the other character. And I think that'll be interesting, even if you know the whole story. Mm -hmm. And of course, if, you, if you're not familiar with the story, um, it's a fascinating story about um, small town attitudes and um, about homophobia and um, all kinds of other issues end up in there, um, about violence in our society in general. Um, and it's just a, a very interesting story if you're not acquainted with the actual facts of the crime. How long ago did this happen? 1998. Yeah, and they wrote the play in 2005, maybe? Oh, boy. I should know the answer to that question, but <laughs> I think it was 2005 that the play premiered. So a uh, relatively quick turnaround by art standards, you know. Yeah. Yeah. It's amazing. It's, you know, it's not, not too far away from where that time is, and here we are today. As, as the world becomes more outspoken about everything. So mm -hmm. yeah, it's great that you have this piece happening. It's going to be a great performance. Thank you. Thanks. All right, let's turn to Jim and talk, uh, the other Jim, Jim McCauley, and talk about what's coming up, because I know you got, uh, you got some classes that are coming up, plus you've, you've got uh, uh, a great show called Willy Wonka Jr. that's coming up, which I want to hear all about, because, yeah. I mean, I think by the time this airs, we'll, we'll have most of your cast in order. We'll have the cast in position. Yeah, we have auditions. Uh, we're recording this. We have auditions tonight and tomorrow. So when you see this, we've already got the show cast, I'm sure. <laughs> but um, that's, the, that's the end of our summer is the, the culmination of all these events that we've got coming up for uh, Willy Wonka Jr. But um, we're hoping to have uh, probably 50 to 70 kids audition for it. Um, it'll be a great, great experience. We've got a lot of things going along with it. It's fun. Who doesn't like candy? We've put together a whole bunch of stuff. So what the Willy Wonka class is, it's a class, so to speak. It's a production class for our summer. It's like our summer academy. 
So kids will audition. It's for kids between the ages of um, third grade through graduating seniors. Um, you don't have to be living in Janesville or in the Janesville School District. We've got people from Beloit. We have some people coming in from Rockton, Illinois. So it, it, it kind of goes beyond the, the borders of Janesville. Um, come in, you audition. Anybody that auditions is automatically in the class. We try to be inclusive of everybody. Uh, we'll find something for you to do on the stage. And we audition it in May. We have a parent meeting in June. And then we don't see the kids until July 16th. And we run for four weeks. Um, so it's Monday through Friday, 9 to noon. Uh, for four weeks, and that includes the show, so we kind of call it um, theater boot camp. <laughs> uh, but it's it's great. The kids get to learn all about stage terminology and blocking and being a part of a production, teamwork, confidence building. So it's got a lot of different educational qualities to it, as well as having a great time. And you know, it's it's a it's a play. It's a summer play, a musical too. Um, so we have Oompa Loompas. We've got Veruca Salt. We've got all of the the usual suspects in the show. Um, and then that opens up on uh, August 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th. And um, so we've got four performances of that. We'll be throughout the city this summer uh, promoting the event. Um, so yeah, tickets are on sale now. You can call the Janesville box office and get some tickets and uh, just go from there. We're still looking for a few sponsors too. We do have some sponsors. Um, our biggest sponsor this year is Festival Food. So they're our primary font, um, sponsor. But we have a whole bunch of other sponsors that will be um, promoted throughout the year. Um, so it should be a good time. Yeah, and I did see uh, last year's Aladdin Jr., and that was fantastic performance. Lighting stage was was just it was it was top, you. you know. And and this is an opportunity for kids to really shine, especially in this community. I mean, just seeing it, you know, it was it was fantastic. Thank you, thank you. So that's the first, or that's the big project, and then we have two smaller projects. We've got um, two classes that are going to be taught by one of our resident instructors, Edie Barron. Edie's been uh, around for many, many years, doing lots of kids' drama, lots of kids' theater and classes. So she's going to be coming in this summer, and she's teaching two classes that are uh, at the end of June, so it's the same time as the Laramie Project. Um, it's nice that we have two spaces so we can have those things running simultaneously. Uh, but she'll be doing a Greek Odyssey class. So it's a, a class, two-week class for kids, uh, fifth grade through ninth grade, I believe it is. And um, what is it? It's two weeks. And they come in and they do uh, Greek stories. So they do the story of Persephone and Medusa. Um, I think they're doing Icarus and the, the, the Golden Wings. So they've got a lot of different things. And then they'll be putting together a little informants at the end of that. Um, and then there's some craft projects to go along with it. So that's a two-week project. And then the third class that we've got, or the second class, is a uh, uh, Tales from Around the World. So it's basically she comes into storytelling class for first through third grade. And um, that meets the week after, so that would meet the uh, right after the 4th of July, so that first week, um, the 7th, I believe it starts. Um, one week class, so it's an intense one, so if you're going to be gone for the summer and you want something to do for the kids, these are short little classes that you can get yourself involved in. And again, they're online, uh, janesvillepac.org, or you can call the box office and then get you registered to find out more information about them. Um, so those are our educational qualities for the summer and things we're doing. Uh, the last thing that we've got, and I brought a couple of samples in here, so if you go in the downtown Janesville area, um, I'm going to say after Memorial Day they'll all be in place and we'll have the brochures and everything. We decided this year in conjunction with Willy Wonka Project, we did a, uh, a Willy Wonka art, we call it a Sugar Rush um, art public art project. So what we've done is we've had some candy shapes that were um, cut out for us, and then we sold them to sponsors for $25 a shape, and then they were to give them to an artist or they could do the art themselves and then turn them in. And then these will be displayed throughout the downtown Janesville area all summer long. And at the end of the summer during Willy Wonka, we will be auctioning these art pieces off to anybody that wants to buy them. Um, and they can be used for a variety of different things. So this is just one of the examples of one of the great ones that just really came in. Some, some very cool ones. We've got over 40 of them. Uh, and they're all displayed in windows in the downtown area, uh, Hedberg Library. All the way down Voight Music has some, Bodacious has some. Um, so if you just go through the downtown area, you'll find them. We've also got a, a walking brochure that'll be um, available to the public uh, right after Memorial Day. If you come to JPEC, you can pick that up. So it'll tell you, uh, all of them are numbered, so it'll give you a number. It'll tell you where they're located, and uh, you can just go through a little walking tour, and you can check out all of them, and then you know check out some of the great shops downtown in Janesville. So this is one of our, this is our donut. Uh, but it's not a donut. You can do whatever you want with So we've got that side. We've got the uh, the Gene Wilder image. And then if you go on the other side of it, we've got some gummy bears. So this is just a sample of one. Um, 
And then another one that we've got here is just a little ice cream cone. And let me see the, the hanging, so all the magic is gone now, so you can see how we hang them up. And then on the other side, we've got another piece like that. So we've got uh, candy cones, there's gumdrops, there are donuts, and lollipops. So be on the lookout for them all throughout the Janesville area downtown, uh, primarily downtown. There are a few that, diff that came to um, some different places. I know there's one at Frosty Freeze. I believe Dairy Queen has one because it kind of just fits with the candy theme. Dunkin' Donuts obviously has one. Um, and then all of these great places are going to be sponsoring us and helping us out this summer with, with the, the promotion of it. So uh, it's something we tried this year. I'm sure it can be done better next year, but it, we've had a really huge success this year, so we're really pleased with the, the results so far. And all of the proceeds and profits for this project go back into the Education Outreach Program for JPAC. So it'll help with um, uh, scholarships for people that maybe can't afford to come to the shows or take some classes. We do have some scholarships available for um, different community members there if they come down and talk to us about that. Uh, it also helps uh, continue our program. We've got two choirs. Uh, some acting classes, and then we do some projects throughout the year, and this will help fund um, a lot of those projects. So come and support JPAC Education and Outreach, and uh, all of the programming at JPAC would be really well appreciated. Great, great. Yeah, and people need to remind, be reminded that, uh, you know, JPAC is a non-for-profit right. and their, their mission is a lot of the out education outreach. A lot of the programs that you can go see there uh, have discounted prices for students. Mm -hmm. And even, even when the Boy Janesville Symphony Orchestra performs, you know, kids get in for free with them paying adults. So, I mean, there's, there's lots of opportunities for great entertainment in the community. And, you know, I have a feeling this is going to be a fun one. I think it's going to be great. We've already had people, we've put them in their shops, and they don't want to give them back. <laughs> so, so you have to come buy them at the auction yeah. if you want them back. But uh, okay. So we thank all the artists and all the sponsors that have sponsored these art projects for us. And um, come out and see Willy Wonka. So this will, this will be really a, a fun thing. At the auction, we're going to be on Ice Cream Social. Uh, and that'll be free to the public. So there's a lot of free events that go along with this. Um, we'll be here at the library for their uh, QuestCon in August too so there's there's lots of things going on okay and so if people want to find out more about ticket prices and such they just go to go to janesvillepac.org very good well thanks a lot Jim thank you Good to meet you. <laughs> Jim, yeah, hey. Okay. Hey. <laughs> Thanks for coming in today. And James will get out and enjoy some of the local art. And, you know, it's, it's right next door to the public library, not too far away from everybody's door. So enjoy JPAC. Thanks a lot for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.